All right. So how many more times can Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood visit Detroit, and how many more times can we see the headline no decision on light rail? <laughs> Plus, Grand Rapids is getting a rapid transit bus line. Is there something that we can learn from our neighbors to the west well, there's about how to get anything wow, done? There's something we can learn from almost everybody on every issue. I mean, we can't get anything done here from public lighting to Oh, well, we can get some. Now, isn't that a little negative, Nellie? We can get some what? things done, right? What? I mean, I... I in terms wow. of in terms of uh, governance, uh, it's hard to point to a lot of wins in Southeast Michigan. Okay, so what are they do? Then what are they doing in Grand Rapids that we're not doing here? Well, they're unified. I mean, you've got a, a, a business and a government community, uh, civic community that are unified. They speak in one voice about what they want. We fight. And how many seats right. are you going to get for this county, and how right. many for that county, and will the city of Detroit control its jewels? And you know, we have the same old arguments, but. You know, you look at, you You ask, you know, what we do right. What well, mm -hmm. we do, you know, Cobo Center, that authority is working fabulously. It's really working. But look well. what it took to get there. <clears throat> so are we ever going to see the either the rapid transit or the light rail? I mean, how many more times can he come here and we're still waiting for I, some I, kind I of decision? I think he's out of patience. I mean, I think one of the, some of the things he said to, to folks when he was here was that he's visited uh, southeast Michigan more than almost any other place in the country since he's been uh, Secretary of Transportation, and that's to get a 3.3 mile uh, uh, light rail built. You know, in, in other cities, they're digging up the ground, building subways, uh, and he doesn't have to to visit this many times. I think I think they are running out of patience. We're running out of time, uh, and they're not just gonna they're not just gonna keep saying, "Well, they'll get there." I mean, we really have got to commit to. Uh, a better strategy for this. But on the other hand, they are holding Detroit to a higher standard than almost anywhere else. They're spending $2 billion to build a mile of subway in um, San Francisco. We're asking for $25 million. He lost that much in the seat on his plane <laughs> coming over here. I mean, it's $25 million compared to these well, billion dollar projects everywhere else. I think else. The, difference is wow. that, the difference is what they're saying is that uh, the way that these things have to be managed mm -hmm. is regionally, and they are not giving money to anybody who's who's not got a regional authority to, to deal with these a things. cohesive effort. All right, let's um, real quick talk about the government is starting to really get into the meat of their extortion case against Kwame Kilpatrick, talking about how a businessman was just giving him thousands of thousands of dollars, 10 grand for suits before he took off on a trip to Dubai, trips to Vegas. Uh, and what was interesting, I think, about the testimony is what that no one even blinked. It was like the mayor needed money. Yeah. You just gave the mayor I'm, money. In fact, I, it seems so routine. I'm thinking of starting the Henderson Civic Fund, and I'll be asking all of you for contributions. You need 10 bucks? I'll just give you 10 bucks, but you got to tell me when you're going to pay it back That's and with right. interest, right? That's you don't want to cut in on pledge drive, Steve. Um, right. You know, the, the evidence seems to be getting mountainous here. I mean, every day, every piece of testi testimony, you know, makes it clearer and clearer. Uh, that a shakedown operation was going on. I think Barbara McQuaid's building a very, very good case for her conspiracy charge, which going in, you know, a lot of people wondered if that was going to be easy to prove. You know, I think also people talk about, well, that's just the way that things things get done. Have you know? But we've never heard about this from oh, other I think administrations. This is, I think this is a far uh, on a far grander scale uh, and and so consistent. I mean, it everybody. Uh, who's getting on the stand is telling the exact same story about how they were sh shaken down, uh, how much money they gave. Uh, I, I don't know that we've seen something uh, quite like this before ever. in Southeast Michigan. Yeah. I, again, with the expectation, or the, not the expectation that they would ever get, you know, paid back for it. It was just like, this is just what this we is do. This the cost to, of doing business. Yeah, it's right? the cost of doing business. All right, well, we're heading towards the end of the show, and usually we talk about headlines, some of the interesting stories that popped out at us uh, during the week, but we've changed it this week. We've changed it up. I know. I know you guys like routine. I know, you know, you like to get comfortable, but we're going to do a new segment called Winners and Losers, <laughs> and so I guess, Nolan, I'm going to start with you. You trying to tell us something? No, no, you're all winners <laughs> to me, winners and winners, but um, Nolan, who are your winners and losers of the week. Well, Blue Cross Blue Shield had a very good week uh, this week. They uh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> they uh, at that, got right. their the legislation was passed that the governor proposed to restructure Blue Cross Blue Cross and the way it operates and to give them more flexibility in the market and make the market more competitive. So the Senate passed that legislation, goes to the House now. I don't anticipate any problems there. It was such an overwhelming vote in the Senate. And as we talked earlier, my loser would be Bob King for this ridiculous uh, machinations he had with Maddie Maroon and that strange relationship 
he tried to build. He made a lot of people in the other unions very angry, and of course he managed to divide the Democratic Party, which isn't that big a, a feat, but uh, it's a critical time yeah, for that to happen. Yeah, is that a big misstep for him? Do you think that's yeah, going to affect uh, affect his leadership? Well, I think that and a lot of other things yeah. call into question his leadership. Well, and I think if, if Prop 2 uh, goes down and we get right to work, uh, he ends up being, uh, I, it could cost him his job. A casualty in that yeah. whole thing. All right, Stephen, who's your winner and loser this week? My winner is the president who uh, bounced back <laughs> this week in a, a debate performance that, that looked nothing like uh, the one we saw two weeks mm -hmm. ago. I think it's very tough to do that. I think, uh, you know, the expectations were so high the first time for him and he didn't meet any of them. They were even higher uh, this week, and and he did a good job. I mean, I, I think he uh, he made his case. He stood up to Mitt Romney when he said stuff that wasn't true. Uh, he did all the things people expected him to do uh, that first time around. You now I have a um, a binder full of newspaper guys that I could talk to about uh, about the now debate. We're in so, um, so, so 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 let me ask you. I mean, how, what did you think of the performance of the debate this week? I, on style points, I think you give it to the president, but on substance, and and I think the polls bear this out. When you people were asked about the specific issues, who did better on on the economy who did better on jobs deficit spending and Romney won in every case and I think if people go into the polls they will be voting the economy and they will be voting jobs and they'll be voting debt and deficit and I think Romney came ahead very clearly they'll on all be, of those issues. They'll also be voting on binders. They will also be voting on binders. <laughs> uh, hey uh, thumbs up for Candy Crowley for her yeah, moderation. She did pretty good. She did a pretty I, good job. You know, she Mitt Romney herself way too much. Mitt Romney is Mitt Romney is is uh, way out of line in these debates in the way that he's just trying to run the whole thing, trying to tell the moderator what to do, trying to tell the president what to do. I but mean, she injected herself in one area, and she got her fact wrong. And no, she didn't get her facts wrong. A, she was right. No. She was not right, Steve. All right. Right all, all right. All right, Stephen, who's your, who's your loser? My this loser week? this yes. week is yes. Southeast Michigan, uh, oh. as we were talking about. Uh, the, the transit thing. I mean, uh, you got Ray LaHood here. He brings all kinds of people from his staff, which he never does, uh, sits down with uh, all of the political leadership in Southeast Michigan, and we still can't get a vote uh, just to get the thing started. Uh, this is this is a perennial loser, I think, uh, uh, for us. Yeah, this you, is private money. When has yeah. light rail ever been built with private money? No, I, I, I never that. I, I know. can't even do that. I'll see how many more times he comes back. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at my winners <laughs> and losers for the week. My winner for the week is Big Bird. <laughs> Why, you ask? Why yeah, Big really? Bird? I love that fellow. It's the most popular Halloween costume. <laughs> and it's sold out everywhere. Everyone wants to be Big Bird for Halloween. I'm Adults, kids, you're going as a binder? <laughs> I'm going as Jumana Caruso. I'm going to get me a big blonde Don't wig, a pair of big pink <laughs> lips, and I'm going to put one eight six your rights on. Oh gosh. All right. So let's go ahead costume. and take a, a look at my that. loser of the week. It's not Nolan, but hang on. Lance Armstrong got dumped by Nike. The, yeah, the doping yeah. allegations, I don't think anyone's really happy with their Livestrong bracelet anymore. I mean, talk about really a fall from grace. Tough week. Bad week for him. Um, he continues to say he didn't, and I'm not sure the evidence is all that conclusive that he did, but it's all perception. Yep. All right. Well, that is going to do it for my week. Thanks so much for joining us. You know, make sure to find us on social media. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. And make sure you watch Monday's presidential debate along with Nolan and Stephen and I. Hashtag Nolan v. Stephen. It's always Stephen a good time. Stephen v. versus Nolan. Oh, Stephen v. Nolan. There That's you go. No, no. V. S. V. S. <laughs> Find us at myweek.org <laughs> as well. Right. I'm Christy McDonald. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Stephen versus Nolan.